All right, you guys. So I hope you guys are doing great, obviously. Um, I've been requested to make a video about the time that I quit Starbucks. Um, this is like months ago by someone named LH, which, you know, how you doing? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, this is going to be short. So boom, I got the job at Starbucks. So my first shift, um, I went in there and they just gave me this big binder to read, which that was a fail because I'm not reading nothing. Like I just skim over the words and that's about it. I'm not, I don't. I'm not a bet a good reader. Like, I mean, I can read really well, but as far as like, you know, just my attention span is horrible. Like I'm not reading. So that was a fail. Boom. Number one. So they just gave me a binder and low key, like left me by myself. So that really was like disrespectful to me because I'm new. You need to be right there with me, but I can low key understand because it was busy. But then again, y'all have like three other people who are there who were just kind of clowning around. So, boom. So they left me by myself with that. But he did come over uh, like twice to be like, "Hey, are you getting everything?" I'm like, "So how do you expect me? First of all, how do you expect me to get everything when I'm new and then I'm just reading stuff?" So. I mean, I'm not going to get everything, like, no. So that was, to me, a stupid question. But, so, boom, that was number one. No, I don't get everything. So, boom. So, then I went over there, like, 30 minutes later to the cashier area, and he was like, all right, so I'm going to train you in the cashier, and you're going to know how to do all this stuff. I was like, okay, all right, boom. So I worked in a Starbucks inside of a Target, mind you, let me say that. So I thought it was going to be chill, whatever. That was such a lie. It was so busy. I like about peed on myself. Like it was super busy. So I was like, okay, boom. So he started telling me, you know, this is button for this button for that. Da, da, da. Like 10 minutes later, he was like, all right, I'm going to leave you to it. You going to leave me to what? Like <laughs> you going to leave me to messing up everybody's orders. Cause this was exactly going to happen. Like everybody's orders is going to be mixed up, jacked up. You going to tell me your name is Camille and I'm going to put Shaquandra on your stuff. That's what's going to happen because I'm not going to understand. You going to tell me you want soy milk and you allergic to, um, uh, whatever other type 2% milk and I'm going to give you 2% milk. Then you're going to die. Then Starbucks is going to get a lawsuit. Then I'm going to commit suicide because you know, all this stuff is going to fall on my shoulders. So I'm telling you like, don't leave me in charge of this stuff right now because I'm not going to understand it. So boom. So then he was just like, all right, it's not, it's not hard or whatever like that. I said, it's not hard to you because you've been doing this for like, for like 58 years. So it's not hard to you. You understand it. So he was like, no, I promise. So then like 10 later, 10 minutes later after that, he was just like, all right, so if you're in if you're in charge of the cashier, then you're gonna be in charge of the cashier, the pastries, the hot coffee, and the like cold coffee pastry um fraps and stuff like that. I said, Oh my god, I about passed out because I said, I told you I had a problem with the cashier. Now you're telling me I gotta run all this other stuff, basically the whole store. I said, You want cashier to you want Starbucks to go out of business, don't you? Like that's what you want. I believe that. I believe you want Starbucks to go in foreclosure and to lose this location you have to because with me right here it's going to go down like i'm going to have to go outside in the parking lot and box with some of these customers because you had customers coming up talking about some hey yeah i want um i want to come back a with a and i'm like i don't know what you're talking about i don't know none of the milks and none of the um the the zinc carbonations and all. i don't know what that stuff is like i don't know i know the basics but i don't know how to make it so you want me to make the drinks? You want me to understand the milks and all that kind of stuff and make the drinks in less than two minutes? I don't know that. So I'm going to end up putting poison and rat poison and stuff in their drinks. And they're going to be like, oh, what's wrong? So I don't know. I don't know this stuff, right? So you're going to have to fix this stuff and be here with me. So period. So he was just like, no, you'll get it. So they literally left me up there by myself. And I was just like, somebody came up. They were like, yeah, can I get this? I was just like, I tried to find something. I was like, manager, can you come here? Like, and I just kept calling them. So boom, um, 
after that, you know, they kind of pulled me back off the register and they were just like, yeah, uh, if you would, if you could just like kind of clean this up. And I was like, yeah, they backed me up because they know I was sucking and they know I wasn't no good at the register right now. They, they tried to force me to learn it. But my thing is I'm hands on. But then again, you cannot force me to learn all this stuff and overload my brain with it and just get it popping like that. Like, boom. Said I'm not going to do that. So I cleaned up or whatever. Then they said I can go on break. And I went on break and they told me I can go home early. So I left and I called the store. I was just like, when I got home, I called the store. I tried to call Starbucks and I called. But the woman that I wanted to talk to, she wasn't there. And she was over all of us. So, and over my managers too. And I tried to call her because I wanted to tell her like, listen, I don't want to work at the Starbucks no more. I want to work at the Target side. And she didn't pick up. So I just said, you know what? I'm not coming in no more. I'm just... <laughs> I'm not coming in anymore. And I have a bad histories with like jobs and stuff. Yeah, I've worked at like, whoa, I've I've had lit, literally, I've had literally like, like 15 different jobs and I've quit. I got fired from like, let me see, Starbucks, Hollister, I got fired from like three different jobs and I quit like the rest. So I can tell y'all like other story times that y'all want to know, but, and then there's other stuff too besides jobs, but I can tell y'all some other stuff that y'all really want to know. Then I was going to do another story time today about this so-called friend that I have and she acting so stupid. Like she, oh, but yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I have, she, oh yeah, but anyway, so that's pretty much the, the, how I got fired. And I know a lot of y'all can relate to my stuff like you know like when you really need to keep a job but it just is not working out like it's not worth stressing out and losing your hair and stuff and like just boom all I'm not well not me losing my hair but it's not worth all that just to keep a job to get a little nickel or something but the Starbucks I was working at we got eleven dollars an hour when other Starbucks in my area we only get they only got eight so that was that was cool but still but Anyways, so if y'all want to know other stories and have other requests for me to do anything else, um, y'all just let me know. If y'all have questions, whatever. I don't have Facebook. Um, I was about to say MySpace. Woo! I don't have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I don't have none of that, but I do have Snapchat. Um, if y'all want to know, it's JDZ32, which is J-D-E-E-Z-Y-3-2. If y'all wanted to know that. Y'all probably don't care, but yeah. So that's about it. I'll follow y'all back. It's nothing. Uh, like I said, y'all can share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It don't really matter. And I'll talk to y'all later.